Since World War II, howitzers have become one of primary artillery systems in the battlefield. As time goes by, the modern self-propelled howitzers have been developed with high degree of mobility since they are wheeled or tracked to provide combat support for shoot and scoot attacks. But have you wondered how a modern howitzer actually works, and have you ever seen an AS-90 Braveheart, the modern British self-propelled howitzer? Hello everyone. Welcome back to Military TV. Today, we're going to discuss about a modern self-propelled artillery weapon used by British Army, AS-90 Braveheart Self-Propelled Howitzer. AS-90 Braveheart Self-Propelled Artillery System is a tracked self-propelled howitzer manufactured by Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering, subsidiary company of the British company BAE Systems. The abbreviation AS-90 itself stands for Artillery System for the 1990s, with an official name, Gun Equipment 155mm L131. This self-propelled artillery system evolved from the International SB-70 program, which was cancelled due to funding issue and was developed as a replacement for the FV-433 Abbott and the USM-109 self-propelled howitzers. The project of this weapon was finished in March 1985, and it was first deployed by the British Army in 1992. Also, in mid-1992, the AS-90 system was adopted by Poland to be their new 155mm self-propelled howitzer to support Polish Army. The AS-90 Braveheart self-propelled howitzer is armed with a 155mm 39 or 52 caliber gun barrel that can fire all the standard NATO artillery projectiles, including the HEM-107 and extended range types. This gun is composed of a split block breech, a double baffle muzzle brake, and a fume extractor. With an automated loading system, the gun can fire a burst rate of 3 rounds in less than 10 seconds, an intense rate of 6 rounds per minute for 3 minutes, and a sustained rate of 2 rounds per minute. This British artillery system can fire using standard ammunition as well as assisted projectile at a maximum range of 24.7 km and 30 km respectively. Further to this, the range can extend to more than 40 km if it is fitted with a 52 caliber barrel instead of the standard 39 caliber. When in road position, the barrel is locked using a clamp mounted at the front of the hull, and while in firing position, the barrel clamp is controlled by the driver from inside of the vehicle. The Braveheart system consists of three compartments and is operated by a crew of five including the driver, commander, gunner, loader, and co-loader. The driver sits at the front left with the power pack to his right, while a large turret is mounted at the rear of the hull of the track chassis. Since the AS-90 gun does not require stabilizing spades and instead features a recoil and hydroga suspension system, the turret can traverse and fire through the full 360 degrees with weapon elevation of minus 5 to plus 70 degrees, as well as performing rapid target engagement for indirect firing. Both the elevation and traverse drives are electric-based and can operate at a rate of 10 seconds. In the event of electrical failure, the full manual controls are already available. Also, the later station of the S-90 is outfitted with a direct fire sight developed by Thales Optronics, which is used for day and night firing. For easy access and ammunition resupply, there is a large door opening to the rear of the Braveheart chassis, along with two integral armored containers mounted on the outside that can be used to store supplies and other equipment. Besides that, five storage boxes are also externally mounted on the turret shell to be used by the crew member each, three on the right side and two on the left with an additional small hatch. Most importantly, the AS-90 can bring a total of 48 projectiles, with 31 safely stored in the turret bustle in four magazine modules. Each of the modules has a motor that is aimed to move the intended projectile to the correct position. There are also other 17 projectiles that can be kept in the hull of the vehicle. The hull and the turret themselves are made of all-welded steel armor construction with a maximum thickness of 17 mm, making the vehicle capable of providing protection for the crew from small armor-piercing shells and shell splinters. For the desert use, especially, the AS-90 even has a thermal shield equipped on the turret roof and solar reflective paint, protecting the crew from hot metal burns. 
The AS-90 Braveheart artillery vehicle has a length of 9.07 meters, width of 3.5 and tiers, height of 2.49 meters, and weight of 4 to 5.7 tons. It is powered by a Cummins VTA 903T 660V 8 diesel engine, which develops 660 horsepower at 2,800 RPM. This is coupled to a Rank LSG 2000 fully automatic transmission with four forward and two reverse gears, enabling the system to operate at a top speed of 55 km per hour on road with a maximum operational range of 370 km. Furthermore, as the hydro-pneumatic suspension is supplied to this howitzer by UK Horstman Defense Systems, not only the turret, but also the gradients of the vehicle can traverse up to 60% with side slope of 25% maximum. Therefore, the vehicle is able to climb vertical obstacles of 0.75 to 0.88 meter and trenches to a width of 2.8 meters. It also can ford water to a depth of 1.5 meters without preparation. With rubber plates protection at the upper part, this suspension is fitted on each side of six road wheels, four front track return rollers with the drive sprocket and a rear idler. In terms of the accessories, the AS-90 Braveheart 155mm self-propelled artillery system's standard equipment includes night vision, NBC protection system, air conditioning, and a fire detection suppression system. The AS-90 is also featured with a full navigation and auto lay capability from the M, a P-standard DRU based on ring laser gyro technology, which gives the gun autonomous ability. Thus, it can be laid automatically both in bearing and elevation. Another fruitful feature of the AS-90 is its diesel-powered auxiliary power unit installed in the front part of the fighting compartment, which reduces the need for the main engine to continuously run the turret system. Moreover, a 7.62mm NATO L7 general purpose machine gun or 12.7mm machine gun comes as a second armament of the AS-90 howitzer, mounted on the left hatch of the turret. Additionally, on each side of the main gun, there are five smoke grenade dischargers fitted. For the Desert AS-90 version, an improved engine, transmission oil, and cooling systems, as well as a deal 940-pin track, are installed for better handling in sandy terrain. Despite the cutting-edge design of the AS-90, as reported in Defense News, this self-propelled howitzer was planned for decommissioning. However, a few of this system will remain in service until 2032. That's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting topics. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.